you think you're gonna use and you wind up getting that you use all the time and the rest of them go in the yeah. box. Kind of the same with RVs. You started, you know, watching people were like, yeah, we don't use it. Actually did a test on which one broke. It's the same thing. This has been an issue in our marriage for years where I'll find things that were put out and recycled. I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? We've been RVing now for six years. During that time, we've purchased a lot of items for the RV. A lot of those items we haven't used. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some items that we just don't use on the RV. So number one, this is something, Izzy never even wanted to get this. I hate but this But he thing. kind of just, he was like, okay, just do it. And we had it for a while. I liked it, but he hated it and we no longer use it. We haven't for about two years. And that is an RV carpet outside. Yeah, so if you don't know, it's like one of those roll out outdoor carpets. Here are the reasons why I hate it. Number one, it takes up a lot of room. Number two, it gets filthy. It's disgusting, especially when it rains. <laughs> it's full of mud, grass, dirt. I'm sorry, it, laughing. It's the worst. But right now people are probably laughing. If you guys watch us, you, you just know this already. Like this should not even be a surprise to you. Izzy is OCD when it comes to cleaning. And he used to, I mean, like curse this thing as we were attempting to clean it off. Well, because so, here's the thing, when, when you're done using it, you have to like wipe, minimum wipe it down. You can't like roll it up wet because it will just get moldy. I, I hate the thing. Do, right. do not get these guys. They are the worst. Okay. One of the items that we use every single day that we camp on our motorhome is our mattress. We upgraded our mattress to a mattress from rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding makes RV specific mattresses. And if you buy a RV, no matter if it's a trailer or a motorhome, most of the time, the mattress that comes from the factory is terrible. Right, and they have mattresses for RVs, but they also have products for home as well. Jason has a mattress in his bed at home. We have cooling pillows, they have weighted blankets, they have sheets, all different types of products. The great thing about their mattresses, guys, is you can do a 120 night sleep trial. You don't need to decide in a week if you like it. If you don't like it, you can send it back. They have a 10 year warranty. Also, they won recently Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award, where the magazine named their mattress a top pick for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort. They are headquartered in Arizona, US-based mm -hmm. company, which is pretty awesome. They have all different types of mattresses. So if you like foam, which we have, or you like coils, which some people like, or you like a combination of both, you like the hybrid coil and foam, they have that. They're huge supporters of this channel, which is, allows us to bring you great content. They have low prices, but if you go to rvmattress.com backslash endless and use the discount code, endless, you will get 25% off. We've been using them for about two years. They've been, again, great supporters of this channel. We're gonna put their link down below. Go check them out. So the next one is toilet paper. Now, this may not be what you think, but this is the toilet paper we use. Nowhere on here does it say RV, and it doesn't need to. So the RV toilet paper, the difference between RV toilet paper and the septic safe that you get is no different other than the price. It's all the same. It's just the RV one is marketed as RV. We have had no problems, guys. The reason why we learned this, we just started, you know, watching people were like, yeah, we don't use it. There was a YouTube channel. I don't know which one. They actually did a test on which one broke. It's the same thing. Other than you're paying a lot more for the RV one. Right. It's the same. Yeah, it's so much cheaper. So for any beginners out there, septic safe, that's what we use. You just want it to break down, that's right. all. The next one is something that Izzy was really excited about until he saw something better. And this was the first upgrade that we actually did on our horn. So the first one, and he was like, oh my God, this is awesome. And I was, you know, it was okay. It's better than the stock horn, the, the Bolo bad boy. We did a video on that. We'll link it above. This is an electronic horn upgrade. It didn't last long. And it is, well, we still have it on here <laughs> yeah, as our primary, the one you hit the right. steering wheel. I'll it is an them. upgrade. And then I was just like, screw it. We're gonna go with the train horn because I've wanted one for years. <laughs> And the reason why I didn't do it originally, because it's a lot of work. I spent mm -hmm. like eight plus hours installing that. You got to run airlines and install a compressor and a tank. It's a lot of work. But wasn't it worth it? Oh my God. This, this, so the, the train horn is just up. Let me just tell you this. Every time we go on the road, if we're gonna go down the certain area of our town where we leave, Jason says, I have to sit in the front seat because I need to see Izzy do this. He's w way too much fun with this. Next one was a big waste. And we actually did this as a factory upgrade when we got Nelly. Yeah, and those are the Blu-ray players. I think I've watched Blu-ray discs like five times in my life. And never on here. Never on here, <laughs> huge waste. Now, it wasn't that much of an upgrade. I think it was maybe like $200 upgrade. But if you're getting a new RV, I would say don't even 
even bother. Streaming is the way to go now. Pretty much everything you can get online streaming. I would spend the money on a very stable uh, internet right. setup in your motorhome. We have several videos. Our latest one will link it up above, but I would add on to that on the Blu-ray. I would also add on satellite. Now mm -hmm. we didn't opt for satellite. Satellite is pretty much dead. I, I don't it's know many people outdated, that use it. Yeah. We, we got rid of our satellite at home 10 plus years ago and we, we haven't missed it at all. No, we see it occasionally when we're out there. There's Jason. Walking. They tend to be older <laughs> motorhomes that have them. Yeah. Yeah. Jason wants to say hi. Hello. <laughs> Now talking about internet, we tried out all different type of internet setups. So far we have found the best to be a dedicated router with a dedicated external antenna. With that being said, we did waste time and money on the cell boosters, the Wii Boost, the High Boost, anything like that. We actually tested them side to side. Does it help if you just have a cell phone? Yeah, it helps. Is it anywhere close to having a dedicated router and external antenna no it's not next one is these little things right here now this was actually a whole set they're very cute they're kind of like vintage looking rv camping dinnerware and they're great we keep the bowls on here now the plates we just br we brought them home we don't even use them on here and the problem was which we didn't realize before is that you can't microwave in these so a lot of times if we have dinner that we made and then we just want to microwave it we couldn't do it so we just actually started using paper plates instead. They're really cute and you know, of course we could hand wash, yes, but we actually found more use for them at home. So I frequently take inventory of what we have in the motor home to see, are there things that we're not using? And things do go disappearing when I'm not there, I by like the way. To, I like to do it at home. <laughs> I, I don't have the same freedom with throwing stuff out like I do on the motor home because she loses track of stuff that's on the motor home. I see, don't. See, you see this? <laughs> Let, let's stop for a minute. So you take, now this, this has been an, you know, an issue in our marriage for years where I'll find things that were put out and recycled. I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? He's like, oh, you haven't used that. I haven't done that in a long so time. So what have you done on here that uh, that I don't know about? Well, not throwing stuff out, taking stuff off the motorhome. Mm, so like mm. lawn chairs and games and right. 8,000 different things that we have on there. They just kind of get lost in the base. <laughs> we take them out. One of those ah. things that we took out was the Instant Pot. Now we use the Instant Pot a lot at home. Mm -hmm. On the motorhome, not so much. Usually it takes longer to cook things in there. It takes a lot of room. And if we're not using it, we can get rid of it you know what we we would use it more if we were camping more like if we were winter campers because yeah. at home i make tons of soups and stews and things like that summer cooking i just don't use it a lot so and it's you know it's kind of heavy takes up space the next one that we had it for one <laughs> or two seasons <laughs> because i asked for it mj agreed it's, first of all it's a lot of work to do <laughs> here's what listen we got a motor home to have minimal amount of work setting up if i have to take an hour to set up we're doing something wrong <laughs> and this was part of that existence so it's going to be the rope lights we used to have rope lights that we put around the rv two things number one i think they look really tacky in my opinion that's not to attack the light people out there I, love them. I just don't like it and number two it takes room and it takes time you're running extension cords you're putting things around connecting lights more hashtag stuff we i loved it but again you know happy husband happy life <laughs> yeah, is that okay. the quote right we so do have I a slide light that we still use right we do all right, so the last thing that we wasted our money on was the dual jackknife sofas. So the problem with the jackknife sofas is that they were built for people who are a lot smaller <laughs> than I am. And, and when we ordered it, you were I, how tall? I was 12 years old, so I was about to be Probably like five, about here. Eight. I was up to my chest. So over time, I grew into the Amazon, mm -hmm. and now I don't fit this. So this is why we had to get the theater seat. So the jackknife was just a total waste of money. Right, we didn't think ahead. Like, no. we didn't think Jason was going to be 6'5". Six six five. Five. Like, we didn't realize this, so we thought, oh, this will be great. We also thought we were going to have a lot of people visit. Now, we've had friends come camping with us, but not to the extent of, oh, you should have jackknife sofa and exactly. just because you think people are going to be coming all the time. It just didn't work out that way. Another reason is because we absolutely loved Love theater, the theater seats, seats, which we should have done right off the bat. Let me get out of the way here. And now we're happy. So we did exchange, you know, we got Jason a trifold. It's the only way he could sleep without being on a mattress on the floor. And we got the theater seat. So now it's really the way we like it. Those are just a few items that we just don't use anymore. And here's the thing, like any people out there that own firearms, you probably have a box full of holsters and mag <laughs> magazine holders that you know you think you're gonna use and you wind up getting that one holster that you use all the time and the rest of them go in the yeah. box and or in the garbage. Kind of the same with RVs. You, you 
get the feeling of how you start camping, mm -hmm. how, what you use, and, and you adapt to it. So in the comments below, let us know what items you have gotten that are complete waste or ones that you really love that you thought might be a waste, but you actually use them a lot. Let us know so we can learn and everybody else can learn. And then to the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV Newbies playlist. We'll put our RV DIY playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.